college? Do you want to open up or you want questions? Questions. Transitioning to a new role this year, what was that process like for you and why do you want to stay here? Oh, it's, I, I mean, shoot, well, I, I love this place. I love Coach Prime. I love the mission and, and the journey that, that we're on. So my, my role is, is irrelevant. Whatever my job is, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm going to do. And um, we've got a great group of guys. Um, we've got a great offensive unit. Um, we're going to score a lot of points this year, and uh, the tight ends are going to play an important role in that. Kind of building off that through 10 practices, how exactly does the tight end fit into this new offense? Yeah, well, you know, Coach Shermer, he's, you know, he's an NFL guy. He's a West Coast guy, and um, you know his his history over time has shown tremendous production out of his tight end rooms. And so um, we're going to advertise that position, and there's just a multitude of things that they're going to have to be asked to do um, in the run game, in the throw game. So we're all, I mean, we're just we're trying to detail all of that right now, and we're embracing every single scheme, you know, every every single uh, every single assignment that that we have. Um, we're just trying to carve out those details. From your perspective last year, now you have a new scheme. What was it about the scheme last year? It seemed like at a certain point it kind of stopped working. I know you had injuries and other things that came up. But from your perspective, what was that and how is it going to change this year? Um, you know, I mean, there, there, was, there was things last year um, that, that did work for us, and, and there will be some, some carryover with that. Obviously, last year, depth, depth is an issue. There's, there's a variety of things that, that you could point at, but, but ultimately, it falls on, falls on coaches, and it, it falls on players to be united and, and get the job done. So I think the biggest difference you'll see is us basically this year just being a little slower and just making sure you know, we're, we're getting lined up and we execute properly. We, we know the play. We know the assignment. Now let's just go play fast. What have you seen from Shimon Mater so far that is that you guys you obviously liked him coming out from the portal and then how has he kind of translated so far? So right right now with Shimon, I mean it, you know, every day um, what we talk about is just developing consistency. You know, some days are, are better than others. Um, right now every every facet of his game is is great. Um, he's just gotta be more consistent catching the ball down the field. Um, and making contested catches, and that's overall as a group right now. Um, but you know, he, he shows up, he he works. Um, we just need to we need to develop more consistency right now. But the flashes are there with him that you should. The feel flashes like. are there, absolutely. Yep. You've been around Shadour for a long time now. You've been around Shadour for a long time now. Where do you feel his game is at now? I mean, it's talking about him being the number one pick in the draft. What have uh, you seen? He just he gets better and better every single year, and you know, I saw growth. From him last year, um, coming from Jackson State, and I've, I've seen another jump this year to where he's at right now in the spring. Um, he he's he's the most accurate quarterback I've ever been around. Um, he throws a deadly deep ball. I think you know you saw it out there today in practice. Um, he's able to create and get you out of bad, really bad situations, throwing the move, do all that good stuff. Um, his intellect is off the charts. Um, He's able to call out protections, get the offensive line right, you know, make uh, make checks on the perimeter that, that we got to. So there's just there's a lot that that Coach Shermer is is able to put on his plate. Um, but he's just gotten better and better every single year, and he's gotten smarter and smarter every single year. Um, especially being in this scheme this year, it's really going to pay dividends for him at the next level. Coach, where did the idea come from to move Savell and Morgan over to your room, and like was that their idea, your idea, and you know, how how did that process go? Um, yeah, you know, I think just collectively um, as a as a group, um, you know, Savelle, I don't think it was one decision where you know they came up to us or it was like you know we kind of sat down as a staff and we're looking at guys' strengths and where they could help this football team and those are two big body guys that, that play physical and so for whatever reason um, it wasn't clicking on defense so. Um, Again, what we're asking our tight ends to do, they, they got to be physical, they got to be able to run. And, you know, both those two guys, they, they carry traits, you know, that could transition to the tight end position. You know, Savelle Smalls, he was, a, uh, he was a receiver in high school and then transitioned to DN. You know, Morgan, same thing. He's got natural athletic ability, he's got natural ball skills. Um, but now for us this spring, it's just, it's basically about, you know, again, carving out those details um, specifically for the tight end position, making sure we're, we're stepping the right way hand placement, um, all that good stuff. And, and they're coming along, they're getting better and better each day. Do you feel like it's clicking for them a lot? I, I do, yeah, I do. Um, you know, the, the plan is, is now, everything is about now. And so, um, you know, whether we're nine, 10 practices in, like Savelle or Morgan, like it don't matter. Like I'm, I'm gonna get you ready to play this year. And that's non-negotiable. Um, and they're, they're doing a good job with it. How about Passarella, how's he doing? Well, he's still, you know, he's still, he's still recovering. So um, it's just, it's, it's week to week with him right now. So, but he's he's around. He's positive. He's great for the group. Coach, with the portal opening, how much uh, 
what turnover do you expect out of your room this spring? You, you never know. Um, I don't I don't anticipate any. Um, but if if that were the case, then you know it's it's next man up, and we're always looking. We're always to um, upgrade the roster and. and um, elevate the tight end room for the University of Colorado. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate you guys.